to me doing the reaction thing to Dota, the Dragon Blood. I almost said Dragonborn in my head. Uh, it's something similar, I guess. Dude, I really don't remember the storyline of Skyrim. Thing about dragons and breathing powers. You know, I played the hell out of that game, but I don't remember nothing about the story. <laughs> But anyway, this is Dota. Uh, we're following Darien, Davian, something like that. He was fighting a dragon, and then there was some other spirit guy thing that showed up and got killed. Trying to save the dragon from dying, and maybe the dragon gave his essence or his powers into him. Because now he's sort of like a human slash half dragon breed person so he, he kind of does a hulk thing he does a dr jackal mr hyde thing have marana who's looking for the lotuses did get a little glimpse of who has them and yeah so the plot thickens <laughs> but let's see where our characters end up today all right here we go wait is that what the lotus is? Lotus is? They got a ton of them! Why do they care if like one of them got stolen? Oh, she... Geist herself. So if these slars were that important, oh my god, they stole like all of them! Oh, never mind, she just did uh, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Interesting on who Ham is. And now I understand the opening there with the flowers and stuff. That's pretty cool how she can shoot an arrow in the sky. A shit of like a shit load of them fall, you know. Oh no, I'm having a nightmare. Oh wait, nope, it's more than a nightmare. Oh, you can sense all dragons. Salamayme. What an amazing name. Interesting. So that's what happened to them. So this is why she wanted to get the flowers. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So this could be the villain. The Darien fought in the first episode. Maybe he's 
Jedi mind controlling these people. <laughs> You're a freak. Wait, what is she doing? She let what? She. I only landed in a, a bag of snow. I'm okay. Come back, Daddy. Wow. So now they're separated. Oh, look, they disappeared when they got. Oh, Ooh, what does that mean? Oh, no, wait, they're still there. No, wait. They just separated. I'm confused. I just realized. He's an elf, too. Oh, bye-bye. Interesting. Interesting. Now I'm trying to feel like that woman that the girl is talking about these stories probably correlates to this guy. Maybe a lover, a child, maybe. What kind of cave you walked into? What the hell is that, a zombie? What? Hey! What do you mean, lover together? What kind of foursome is this? What the hell? Are you gonna love together too? What the fuck? The hell did she find? What is with this imagery? <laughs> and I mean, now she's in a room full of all these weird ass creatures. Uh, 
I like how she's like, yo, I'd rather be in a snowstorm. Oh, wait, she just, she has no choice. Holy fuck, all of them are coming. Winter has come. Oh. Oh, he did. Oh, they're so dead too. Holy crap. Is he gonna come save her? That is wicked cool. Who the hell is this? Um, got Black Knight? Dark Knight? <gasps> oh, another Dragon Slayer. Cool, because now we can actually find a sort of antagonist. Because as the plot thickens, think of this Black Knight, Dark Knight, Dragon Slayer. And once he finds out about Davian, and it's like, wait, this dude's a human and a dragon? That's like two for one special right there, bro. Also, now we're learning about the elves in a way. Uh, this, trust me, there was stuff said. Kind of flew over my head. <laughs> something, something. An elf lady, something. Lost their land, something, something. Christopher Columbus. I, I don't. No. It was. It was quick. It was said. And hopefully the episode will remind me again. I'm not trying to be obnoxious in any way. It's just... It's it's thrown in with a mega amount of exposition. And that's fine in, in, in a way. But it's like... Like, I don't know. Say it a few more times. Um, So pretty much the gist was to get the Lotuses so they can find some sorcerer. Who can then lead them to the promised land their like whole place of origin they did end up finding the sorcerer but he's like fuck it bitches i don't need any uh, uh but then he kind of found some mercy in them or her uh after they got butchered by more likely the holders or the uh, guardians of the lotus way and, and you know tribe of Miranda and also i guess her people what is it all? Hey, um, I don't know, but I'm sure 
the episodes will explore this. And also, in the same episode, Miranda got, uh, like, so, I don't know, fell. <gasps> it was a snowstorm. She found a cave. There was, like, some redstone. It was sort of kind of, like, possessing or, or like, hypnotizing uh, some zombie vampire thing. Now, what is that stone? And why did that stone speak to Morana? And the way it spoke, it, it almost sounded like it was answering Morana's prayers. Because she did pray and say, hey, I think you pray to the goddess to show her a sign. Please help me. And all of a sudden, this voice comes out of nowhere and say, hey, you've got to bug me. You know? So it's almost like uh, it could be another situation with the elves. You know? Where like that one tribe of elves probably forsaked their heritage. While the other one is lost in limbo, um, or upcast, should we say. So, uh, let's see how it all collides. Alright, that about does it for my video. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you.